So now let's start throwing some variables into the mix when we're multiplying radicals. And here we have just negative 3 root 5c times root 7c. There's a hidden 1 out here. So negative 3 times 1 is just negative 3 because we always multiply outside with outside. Then inside with inside. 5c times 7c. Well, 5 times 7 is 35. And c times c is just c squared. OK, so now what can we do? We can break this down a little bit into root 35 times root c squared. So root c squared is just c. So negative 3 times c is just negative 3c root 35. We can't do anything to root 35 because it's just really 5 times 7. And they're both, they're both prime. So we just leave it like that. Negative 3c root 35. What about over here? So we have, we're going to multiply outside with outside. 2 times negative x is negative 2x. And let's multiply inside with inside. So 5 times 15 is 75. And x times x is x squared. Now let's break this down further. And we have, whoops, let me just make a smaller radical sign here. So 5 squared times root x squared. Now root x squared is just x. So negative 2x times x is just negative 2x squared. And I forgot about the 75. The 75 is actually just 3 times 5 squared. So the negative 2x squared outside is just waiting. And it can break the, three, the root 3 times 5 squared into root 3 times 5 squared. And of course, the 5 squared cancels out with the root in this case, because the root of 5 squared is just 5. So 5 times negative 2, <coughs> sorry about that, 5 times negative 2 is just negative 10. So the final answer is negative 10 x squared root 3. Again, how do, did we get the negative 10? We had the negative 2 multiplied by the 5. So negative 2 times 5, negative 10, x squared, root 3.